Hi everyone, my name is Robin Speziali and I'm the best-selling author of a book called Market Masters, Interviews with Canada's Top Investors. So a couple of days ago I happened upon um, an article on InvestorPlace.com entitled 10 Hot IPOs that You Could Buy in 2018. Um, I wanted to discuss this article here um, and the uh, 10, 10 IPOs, they're, they're all mostly tech companies. Um, but I want to preface that by saying that, uh, you know, I don't recommend buying into an IPO the first day it starts trading. An IPO stands for Initial Pub Public Offering, and uh, it's the first time that a private company goes public in which you can go to the um, stock exchange, like uh, New York Stock Exchange or the TSX, Toronto Stock Exchange, and, and buy that stock um, through your brokerage account. And, you know, the last time I bought an IPO on day one was Alibaba. And the reason was because it had been operating for years. Um, when it started trading as market cap to me, people thought it was crazy, um, but Alibaba was still pretty low relative to the likes of Amazon, Facebook, and Google. So I bought into Amazon. But you know, some companies, they're not as established. They don't have as many years of, um, of operating history. Uh, they might not be earning a, um, a net income yet. So you know, it, it's always good to keep them on your watch list, which is why um, I'm gonna list off um, these top 10 stocks, uh, the IPOs that will likely um, IPO in 2018. I'm, I'm, as I'm talking, it's January right now. So let's go from top to bottom here. Um, these aren't in rank order, but uh, you know, definitely wait until the end. Um, stock number 10, I wanna add some more commentary to. So the first IPO they're probably um, uh, releasing the market in 2018 is Dropbox. Okay, so Dropbox, I don't think it needs an introduction. Um, they're one of the first uh, you know, cloud sites you can store your files up there. Number two, there's a company called Zora. And uh, Zora was started by some employees from Salesforce and um, it's a subscription management um, company. And apparently Salesforce's CEO, Mark Benioff and founder um, is an investor of Zora. Number three is um, Acua. And it looks like here, um, Acua helps to develop uh, web and uh, mobile app platforms. Number four is Aptis. Number five, uh, this one's pretty interesting to me. Number five is Ancestry.com. Um, I just recently submitted uh, my uh, my swab, my spit swab to Ancestry, and they uh, sent me back a report that I accessed online showing me uh, my ancestry dating back hundreds of years. I thought that was pretty interesting. And I think um, there's also 23andMe that might be IPOing soon. And this is a whole new uh, revenue stream for these uh, these companies. Number six, there's one that I'm not going to even you know try to pronounce correctly. Um, Zesclar, Z-S-C-A-L-A-R. Um, it, it seems as though it's a, a cybersecurity tech company. Okay, the, the next one on the list here of IPOs for 2018 is one called BarkBox. Um, BarkBox is a subscription service for your dogs. Every month a customer will get a box of natural treats and cute toys. I, you know, I, I think this is one I would, I would pass on at first. You know, maybe I'd put on my watch list, but I wouldn't really be an investor. The next one here on the list is Lyft. Um, again, Lyft doesn't really need an introduction. Uh, Lyft is the uh, main competitor in North America to uh, Uber. And uh, it just uh, Lyft just entered um, the Toronto market. It's uh, the first foray into um, the international market. If things work out in Toronto, I'll, I'm sure they're ready to expand elsewhere too. And uh, Pinterest is the next one on the list. And Pinterest, you know, I'm, I'm not a user of. Um, I have some friends who use it. Um, it seems quite popular, but uh, I don't know if they're even generating a net income. But uh, here, Investor Place says that their monthly active users hit 200 million. Um, up from 150 million last year. Okay, so here's the last one. So number 10 in the list of you know um, hot IPOs to look for, as according to InvestorPlace.com, is Spotify. And the interesting interesting thing about Spotify, everyone I know has Spotify app, including my dad, on um, on their phones, and it's a great service. I, I believe in it. Um, it says here they have 60 million subscribers. A portion of those. Uh, who pay for the subscription service. Um, but Peter Hodson of Five Eye Research, I interviewed him in my book, Market Masters, but recently uh, he just sent out a, uh, a blog update saying that he suspects, he predicts, that maybe Netflix uh, will be a buyer of Spotify or at least be interested to expand 
um, their their services from just uh, video media, um, TV and movies to um, to music, to start competing against the likes of uh, you know Google Play, Google Music, and then of course Apple, Apple iTunes, Apple Music. Um, we'll see if that does take shape and if, if uh, Netflix does acquire Spotify. But um, of this list of ten stocks, I think the um, the ones that I'll definitely put on my watch list are Spotify. Lyft, Ancestry.com, and maybe Dropbox, but we'll see. All right, guys, happy investing, and uh, talk soon. Bye.